So if you've just launched PowerPoint, this is the screen that you're going to see. And the first thing we'd like to do is get rid of these boxes so that we can have a clean blank screen to start with. And for that we're going to go up to the Layout button in the top left corner of the screen and choose the option that says Blank. And now our screen is blank. Now we're going to insert a picture. And to do that, we're going to go to the Insert tab and choose the picture icon. Now you'll need to navigate to where the picture is stored on your computer. And once you find it, just select the picture and click Insert. And now the picture should appear in your slide. Now once you've got the picture up, it should have this circle and square border all around it. That indicates that the picture is selected. One of the first things you might need to do is resize the image. And for that you'll use these circles and squares. Now if you click the circle, hold it down and drag, that will resize your photo and keep its aspect ratio. So the picture will look the same, it'll just get smaller or larger. But if you use the squares, and click and drag. That's actually going to skew your image. It's not going to preserve the aspect ratio. So, um, you know, you can change the shape of your image that way, but it's going to, it might look a little weird. But don't worry, you know, if you mess it up and it starts to look strange, you can always use the undo button in the top left corner of your screen. And you can click it until it gets back to where you need to be. Alright, now when your picture is selected and you've got the border, you're also going to get a brand new menu that says Picture Tools. If you look up in the top right side of your screen, it'll be there. And that'll only be there if your picture is selected. So, you know, if you have something else selected or you click off the photo, it's not going to be there. But as soon as you click onto it, you'll see that again. Now this menu has some cool effects. Um, you've got the option to recolor your image. And you don't even actually have to click on any of these. If you just hover over it with your mouse, it'll show you a preview of what that effect would do to your photo. You can add a colored border with the picture border button here. I'm going to choose this blue color. And I'm going to increase the weight a little bit to make it more visible. You can also change your photo into a shape. You know, for instance, if you decide you want your picture to be an oval or an arrow, you can use any of these shapes and fit your picture into it. Um, PowerPoint's going to do it automatically, and you are going to lose the edge of your image, so just keep that in mind that um, you know you don't have too much control here. You also have the option to use one of these default picture styles. PowerPoint gives you a few presets that are just, you know, quick one-click ways to make your picture look good and, um, you know, relatively tasteful. So any of these are going to override the other styles that you may have selected. I just selected this um, simple frame white option and it did override the border that I had added earlier. So just keep that in mind. If you want to have some more control over these picture styles, you can actually use this picture effects menu. And here you can select, you know, a specific drop shadow or a specific type of reflection. And it just gives you a little more control. Another useful thing in the picture tools menu is the crop tool. So over here on the right side, you're going to click crop. And that'll change the border of your image to these heavier black lines. And um, what Crop does is it lets you select just part of an image. So say I, you know, just want this middle detail here. I don't need the rest of it. And now I only have a small portion of my original photo. But what's really useful and cool about the Crop tool is that if you you know, change your mind later, or in a later slide you decide that you wanted to show the whole image again and you want to get it back, you can always select the picture, go back to the crop tool, and your whole image will be there. 
so you didn't lose it forever. Just click the crop tool again and drag and it'll reveal itself.